All right, episode five of Breadboard Builds. I haven't done one of these uh, videos in a while. In this one, we're going to be looking at the vaunted uh, Marshall Bluesbreaker. Released in the early 90s to little fanfare, it found a whole new popularity in the uh, mid-2000s when it turned up on John Mayer's pedal board. So much so that a bunch of manufacturers released either their take on it or outright clones, culminating in Marshall itself uh, somewhat recently uh, reissuing the original pedal. For this one, um, I'm going to give an uh, explanation of circuit operations and then get into sounds. I'm not going to too much get into m uh, mods on this one. Brian Wampler has a, a great video on this circuit where he, uh, on his breadboard, he plugs in uh, different value components, uh, mods, he's, uh, mods he suggests, and you can hear how they sound. So I'll link to uh, his video in the description of this one. So definitely check that out. So uh, let's get into it. I'll start at the input section. Uh, notable to me are the resist resistor values here. We got a 2.2 meg ohm to ground pull down resistor and a 1 meg ohm uh, bias resistor. Uh, very good for uh, input impedance. Guitar being a low output impedance, we want to match it with a high input in, a high input impedance amplifier stage, and this does just that. Um, signal goes into the non-inverting input of the uh, first op amp stage, and then we see the characteristic feedback loop with its tail off to, in a lot of cases, its ground, but in this case, it's the uh, bias voltage. Um, I want to say about this section is that these components do actually affect uh, frequency and gain. For example, if you lower these resistor values, the gain of the amp goes up. If you increase the resistor values, uh, gain goes down. And it also, they work in with, with these capacitors to shelve off some frequency. Uh, back to the output, um, it's tied to the wiper of the 100k ohm potentiometer. Um, I find it very interesting how this is wired. Um, let's pretend for a second that uh, the schematic shows it tied right to the middle, this point, the wiper tied right to the middle, but pretend it, it, it continues on here and comes up to this section. The wiper's pointed to, to the end of that resistor. The entire resistance is now in that uh, op amp uh, feedback loop which means the gain is at maximum. Uh, conversely, if you imagine coming off this op amp and coming to this part, the wiper now pointed to this, there's no resistance in this feedback loop, and uh, so the amp is unity gain, and it now has to overcome that 100k ohm uh, attenuation going on to the next stage. Uh, I knew I said I wouldn't do any, say anything much about mods, but a mod that people do with a lot of overdrives and distortions is you can increase this potentiometer value, um, put a higher value resistance in that feedback loop, and the gain goes up. In this case, yes, that will happen. Back to assume the wiper's here, and you put a 500K, you would have a 500K ohm resistance. This gain would go up. But when you roll that back all the way back down, you're going to be back to zero ohms of resistance in that feedback loop. And now you have 500k ohm of resistance to overcome going into the second stage. Um, speaking of the second stage, we'll get into that. I, I, I think it's interesting how this circuit is set up where this first gain stage actually drives the second one. A lot, a lot of times you'll see... Uh, the, the clipping diodes in this first section. There'll be a, a cross here, and you'll have everything all in one, and that second stage will be um, just an another just amplifier stage or sometimes a, a EQ, a active EQ um, stage. Um, in this case, the clipping stage is it's, it's the second stage, and it's dependent on the drive from the first stage. Also interesting to me is this second stage. Once again, op amp, with a feedback loop, um, that that 220k ohm sets the gain level for this op amp until you forward bias these diodes. When you when once you uh, in in this case we got four instead of the usual two, you got four 
of diodes. So 0 0.7, 0 0.7, you got a 1.4, 1 1.4 both ways um, to, to, to open those diodes up. When you do that, it introduces this 6.8 K ohm resistor, which then puts it in parallel with the 220 K ohm, which brings the resistance way down, which in turn brings the gain of that amp down. I find that interesting. As soon as you start clipping, you bring the, they're bringing the gain of this amp down. Um, off of this amp stage, we could then go into our, our uh, EQ stage. And interesting with this is there's always some kind of EQ going on, uh, the way it's set up. Um, lo looking at this wiper, we'll, again, like we did before, pretend this wiper is here. Your signal is going to come through, and it's going to, path of least resistance, it's going to, the, your main filtering stage is going to be the 6.K and the 0 0.01 microfarad. If the wiper is down here, you're now introducing that 25K ohm bit of resistance in there. So so now the 25K ohm factors into your your, your shelving. Um, off of this, we go right to the output, and we have a 100K ohm pot uh, for, for volume. And again, a wiper here, you'll get maximum... Uh, output level out of the the pedal if you come here it's got to overcome that 100 k ohm resistance and so your volume is going to be a lot lower and of course you're blocking dc cap and a pull down resistor uh, to ground um because before we get into some sounds i will say i didn't i i mentioned not much about mods but um i think i would like to kind of do my own take on the circuit and it being i curious back to how these two stages are interactive if i didn't increase the rail voltage of this first op amp stage maybe make that 18 volts and that way uh, we could get a higher amplitude before any kind of clipping here and really smash that second stage with a with a with a higher gain signal um I, of course i would have to I'm have to rebuild the circuit because i would require two ic's this is a single IC, and that one IC has one supply voltage. So it would be two ICs, 18 and 9 volt, and be interesting to hear that sound. So if I do that, um, I'll make a follow-up video. I'll build it and see how it sounds, and and uh, put a video out and 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 see what you think. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get into some sounds. There's the circuit. I don't remember where I was on this, but yeah, pedal is definitely on. So no pedal. The guitar is a Squire Strat with the Marzio uh, Cruiser's neck and middle and a, a, a super distortion in the bridge. Neck pick up here. Switch to the bridge. Let's roll the gain down. I had that pretty much cranked up. I'm sorry. I messed up. This is actually the volume, and this is the gain. So keep the keep the volume up and roll the gain down a little Neck pickup. Tone all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
pull the volume down. the game. That's uh, my look at the Marshall Blues Breaker. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, look for the uh, next installment of this one. Thanks.